Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Rise and Shine. I hope everyone had a wonderful Easter Sunday, Resurrection Day. You know, I want to talk to you about our own ind invisible chains, chains that we keep ourselves locked up in, bound in. And when God looks at us, he doesn't see chains around us, but he knows that we have chained our own selves up with two things. Number one, the way we think and the way we were taught always has comes with it a lot of bondage. And so we get tied up in the way we think. Sometimes we'll go straight into depression. Sometimes we we'll go straight into tear overload and crying with depression of things that happen um, in the course of your day, in the course of your week, in the course of your year. Sometimes things we have to walk through are very tedious and they can be very overwhelming, but that doesn't identify who you are. You see, we have to hold every captive thought, every hold every thought captive of what we think. We can't just let ourselves run crazy with these thoughts that we have because that's what throws us into depression and disappointment and aggravation, irritation, and throws us into a fear you see, it, Paul talks about holding every thought captive, which is in 2 Corinthians 10, 5. And he says, hold every thought captive. In other words, don't let yourself run away with thoughts. Stop, pull your thought process back. Start thinking about other things on top of that. Think about that you are loved, that you are valued, that your circumstances is not who you are, that you are strong and you are courageous. There is something about talking to yourself and pulling yourself up from where you're at by speaking into your own life, not waiting for someone else to speak into your life. Speak into your own life the things that God has given you. God has given you Holy Spirit love. He's given you, he's given you tools to walk through. He's given you peace. He's given you He's given you joy. He's given you strength and courage to walk through everything that you walk through. Focus on these things. Half of the things, and I do say over half the things that we worry or are concerned about, we actually have no control over. So we worry thinking we can have control over them, but we do not have the final count on a lot of say-sos that are happening around us. So in those incidences, you have to wipe yourself, dust your feet off and say, I'm not going to worry about this. I know my God is taking care of it. I know that I know that I am strong and courageous, and I know that I am going to be full of joy as I walk through this. That's the way we handle life. That's what we do because we have someone else in our life helping us. You know, God is a great and mighty God, and he's there for you every day of your life to give you strength, mercy, to give you peace, to try to infuse in you some joy, try to make you strong, lift you up to walk over your circumstance as he's walking with you every day. Hold every thought captive. Don't let your thought process run crazy and realize that it's what you think and it's how you've been taught to handle stress. It's what you think and how you've been taught and how you react. So change how you react, change your thought process and realize life is full of an abundance for you. There is an abundance in life for you, of joy, of peace. There is an abundance for you in your life and you are worthy for an abundance. In the name of Jesus, amen. Go out and make it a great rise and shine today. Let me pray for you. Oh, Heavenly Father, I just come to you and I just lay it all down at your feet because sometimes it's too overwhelming for me to handle. So I'm just going to give it to you. I'm going to trust you, Lord. I'm going to trust you, God. You are a mighty God and you are in my life and you are mighty. And I thank you, Lord God, for lifting my burdens, lifting my fears and replacing it with encouragement and peace and joy because you are a mighty God and you love each and every one of these people. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.